Okay, go. Okay. Hello, I'm Christine Betts, and I am one of Toklot's Myler sponsored riders. This is HPB Wispin. He's one of the Grand Prix horses that we have here at Modern Station Stables. Um, he is fitted with the Myler bits, and there has been some confusion when people start out with the Myler curbs in particular because their action is different um, than traditional curbs on the fit and getting the responsiveness that you want from the bit. Um, the first thing is there is a lot more play inside the mouth with the bit of, for the horse. Um, because you have that independent right to left action, um, you are not getting the port of the bit rotating into the palate. Um, so you're going to see less gaping, less of a dramatic action from the horse's mouth when this bit in, is engaged. And that is actually a positive thing. It means the horse is more comfortable with the bit. Um, the second thing is, is the curb chain is usually put a little bit snugger. I have the legal two finger limit in here um, that you can get two fingers comfortably under the curb chain. Um, sometimes he even works with a three or four finger depending on if he's having one of his lighter days and coming a little bit behind the contact. <coughs> Excuse me. Also what people often note is that you can see that the bit can get a lot more rotation and Wispin is very responsive to this. Okay, you can see he readily follows it. His mouth stays pretty closed. You know, he's very comfortable with that. Because the Myler bit has this independent left to right action and is not just working on pull pressure. When you engage the shank, you look very closely, look at the curb rein on the right side. It is not gonna go back. That curb shank is not going up on the right. And that's because you have to remember when you're using the Myler curb, you're getting snaffle-like flexion ability on this curb ring. You are just enacting the left side, not having any conversation on the right. So if you're wanting to see a little more of that traditional inward flexion on the side of the, on the, side of the horse, so in other words, if you want him bringing his nose in more, giving more at the pole, that has to be a, con a concentrated, deliberate action of the left and right rein. Um, on a standard curb, if you pull on the left side, the right side of the bit is going to torque. It's going to put pressure against the side of the horse's mouth. It's going to help bring them, it's going to push them into that bend because he's going to feel pressure on the outside. When you're flexing with a Myler curb, he is not feeling interference on this right rein at all. He is just feeling the conversation taking place on the left. And so that's really important to consider. You're really looking at the responsiveness of the horse. Um, another aspect of um, concern that has come up is people feel like sometimes the horse doesn't take as much contact on it. Horses in general are lighter on Myler curbs because they're, they're getting a more clear path of communication. They understand, that, and you can see, he doesn't open his mouth or play with his mouth. He's very comfortable with everything that's taking place in here. You know, his lip moves a little bit, but he's very at ease with that. Um, sometimes for the rider's feeling, the horse is too light. And if the horse is too light, you want to maybe experiment with less tongue relief, okay? If you want the horse to take a little more of a feeling on your bridle and on your curb rein, you have to customize the horse's comfort and reaction, the softness that you want, and the, inten and the intensity or the weight of contact you want to experience in both reins. So that is um, a really important consideration when you're debating the, the amount of bit you want. You want the horse to be responsive, but sometimes the horses are responsive, they're too light to the rider's feeling. Then you might have to go with a little less tongue relief or slightly different shape in the port. Um, and that's something that you know we'll discuss at a later time. But you can see we have the two finger space in here 
and you can see the pole doesn't get enacted if you looked at the top of his head. There's not a lot of torque on this. And he's showing a lot of bend to the left, but, excuse me, he's not gonna bring his nose in as deep unless you take contact and you're working on both sides. That means that you're engaging the bit on both sides. When you work the left, you're only gonna get a response on the left. When you work the right, then the horse is gonna understand that they need to do something on the right. Um, and it's a little bit of a different feel. You're going to have a little bit of a snaffle-like experience on the curb ring. Okay. Thank you.